Well, so for instance, um, there is a kind of leukemia called AML, acute myelogenous leukemia. It starts in the bone marrow. Uh, and it is a distorted uh, version of a myeloid cell type. It starts as a, as a stem cell, and that stem cell goes down a number of different paths. And depending upon the person, the disease is sufficiently different that it might follow a slightly different path towards what becomes the disease itself. And so being able to trace the path and to know which steps along the way that it takes to become what becomes then the metastatic uh, lymph, uh, leukemia um, could only be accomplished by having enough markers that allowed us to trace everybody along the path. It's kind of like if I wanted to follow you from who you are as an egg through development through to who you are today and I had snapshots every month, I need different markers to measure what you are as an egg versus what you are as a baby versus what you are as an adult. And so each of those different markers in my world would be different proteins that tell me something about an adult leukemia versus a baby leukemia. And then we use something called pseudotime, which is a mathematical concept that allows us to stitch together those photographs. I could take a random box of photos of you from an egg to who you are today, and I could just by hand put together the most likely path and sequence of what you were from the earliest to the latest. But we needed the data and we needed the means and the instruments to collect that information so that then the math could come to play.